recording. Who's Darius? Does anybody know? Is it is it Vlad? I wonder if he's even in this game. It's the only guy that looks like a Smurf, maybe, is this Vlad guy. I don't know. Why does why is he Diamond 2 with 700 games? <laughs> really? 50% win rate, 700 games, Diamond 2. Really? He has like a challenger account too, huh? I guess he just fucks around on it. Anything I can do to like win the lane. I want to win the lane. Fuck, last time I lost the lane so bad. Maybe take one point in E? I think so. That means I have to keep up in trading with him. Maybe come home for the early, uh, come home for the early. For the early no mantle. Hundred percent up again. At least I get the level two rush this time. I think last time the other Vlad got the level two rush. Really well. Really freaking well. He almost has to go home already. I get one more, I win one more trade, he's done. Hot, huh? Back to high health already. Fuck, I missed the cannon. Oh, this fucking pot. TP. I should just go home now. I might go double doors against him.
Give me, give me some fucking. Of course that. Good shit. Good shit. AD flashed. Yeah, Jin flashed. Malphite's getting smashed by that Dyrus. That bar, this bottom lane seems really bad. Malphite at TP? This is my mid tower because of this? This losing lane too hard.
Watch this. Get a little bit of armor, get a little bit of MR. Could have bought pink wards to be honest. What's up, Anti? What's going on, man? What's up, Joe? Vlad is behind Dragon. Let's put a ward in there. They gave me this Dragon. What is their bot lane? 1 and 9. Got him! You saw that? I did him with the, the fucking... The fucking juke. He thought I was backing up. Wow, Mr. Cannon. The cannon got me. There. He blew a lot there. Olaf, no old. Vlad, no ghost. Or old. <sighs> Worst fight, like we win. We win. He used a lot there. I still have flash too. Slow him from getting there. Slow him from getting to bottom. Fuck. They didn't get the kill? They didn't flash? Okay. I need to buy um excuse just calling. After the Z Rat. Last time I rushed it, I don't think it was good. Oh, we were ahead last game too. We lost. I have a better team this time, but I think I need to get the Z Rat first. I think rushing it was a bad idea. I think I fucked up. She went back top? In here?
Where is Bard going? Ooh, we could have hit a condemn on him. That would have been sick. Hope this Vayne does well, <laughs> like late game. Like we need her to carry. Just five kills, okay. Just steal camps, the Gragas. Malphite doesn't have all. Seems like silly. That seems really bad. I don't know what that was, but that was bad. I have Z-Rot in like 80 gold, that'd be good. We got his ghost and his ult. Am I? We have good vision though. We'll see him coming. He does come. That's his, that's his duo partner? Huh. He has um high win rate. I thought I thought Dyrus was actually the the Vlad. Because the Vlad look, looks like a smurf. The Irelia doesn't look like a smurf. <laughs> like his win rate. His win rate doesn't it's 700 games, 50% win rate. But this guy has like a 65% win rate. The Vlad. Back up. Malphite has ult. I think that Bane could have lived if she just kept backing up. She walked in, she kind of like let the Aurelia kill her. It was silly. Yeah, I think she could have kept walking away. I think she lived, but she she almost like killed herself. 
Like, she didn't think Irelia would jump in or something, I guess. I don't know. It was really weird. I want to buy a, um, executioners. I want to buy it. Get it, Malphite! I almost went a Baron, but I don't know if we should. <laughs> That's like the only way we lose, maybe. Who do you want? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. I have a Z-Rod mid. Just pushed up. They're coming back here. They're coming back here, but I don't help it. Let's try. We have an Aegis? We do. Oh, my team died? How did my Gragas die? I can kill this guy. He stays. Left. How did the Gragas die? What the fuck, man? They weren't even focusing him. They used like everything on me. <sighs> I'll fight as ult. I'll fight's gonna die without using ult. How strong is Aurelia? Nice items. Right force and frozen heart. Why didn't Gragas you save this? Don't let him take Malphite still has all. Come, come over here, come come towards this. I have pink wards on me. Check it for blue trinkets around. I have a new Z-Rock coming up. Face that motherfucker. They doing it? Some vision here. Right. The back here. Dang guys. Tighten her ass off. Bad. Bad.
Did Bane have to die there? I don't know. Like. I need to get that executioner's calling. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll get it now. Hard to keep this fucking vein alive. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Looks like we have no chance to keep that bitch alive. <laughs> I don't know. How are we gonna keep that? How are we gonna keep her alive? That's hard over there. Beautiful. Oh God, man, you piece of shit. You really just did that? You really just did that? This vein is like so trash. <laughs> what the fuck? He, she just like tumbled into the Vlad and just killed herself. What the fuck? by herself mid but I'm so close to level 16 I'll fight almost has all I wonder does this come group Olaf has a GA Bane gets like a GA or something. Instead of just building all damage. I hope she could build like a defensive item. She dies in every fucking fight. I would love to see her survive like one of these fights. Red 
GA on her would be so sick. Push this bottom. Where's my Z-Rot? Oh, it's mid. They're all still ready. Keep him out of the fight. Let's just keep him out of the fight. They don't have an ADC. That's really bad, right? That Z Rot, it pushed it pushed this creep wave. See this? Now we have a big creep wave. I had that Z Rot mid for like a minute or two. I'm gonna try to take that blue. Good job guys, good job. Beautiful game. Beautiful. Yo, hey, what's up, Sun Show? What's going on? How's life treating me? Can't complain, I guess. <laughs> Alright, man. Not too shabby. How are you? I didn't get an S? I probably got an A+, plus, right? Fuck, man. I hate that feeling when you feel like you're, you're gonna get an S. <laughs> it's an A+, plus and you're like... Honestly, Dyer is that duo with me. <laughs> Maybe he just duos with random people. Like people in solo queue, see him. And they just ask him, like, hey man, can we duo? And he's like, okay, I guess so. You played well last game. He might have just duo with like a random dude. The Vlad. How come I get Ionians versus Merc Treads? I hardly ever get Merc Treads or Tab Eyes. Um, the decision usually is Swiftness Boots or Ionians. And it's usually Swiftness Boots. I don't, I don't value CDR a lot. I don't know. Because Swiftness Boots helps keep you alive more often, right? You're faster and you have, uh, you have CC reduction, slow reduction. Whereas, whereas, um, Ionians is more of an offensive boot, right? And... As you can probably tell, um, I'm not a guy that really values offense. Like, I'm not going to pay money for offense use most of the time. Like, if you look at my builds, it's like Z-Rot, all defensive, Locket, Thornmill. Um, it's just a playstyle, really, to be honest. Um, I had a Warmogs here, GA. I buy GA a shitload. Um, Locket, Locket, Locket. I mean, there are those weird games where maybe, maybe there's like three AP, four AP, where where you might consider it, right? Or or if you're against a team that has a lot of hard CC, like Morgana, Morgana, fucking Fiddlestick Sphere, you might consider it, right? There there are always like you know other circumstances where you might buy Merc Treads, but Merc Treads I buy like two percent of the time. Um, but that's just my thought process behind it. And I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that Merc Treads and Ninja Tab are bad. They're kind of expensive, though. That that is true. Um, Merc Treads and Ninja Tab, I, I think you buy it if you really need it. Um, 
like you know if you look at the game and you're like okay there's five ad in the enemy team this probably is a ninja tabai game or 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 you're against like a certain matchup like trindamir or something like that or riven and you're like ninja tabai right but if if that doesn't pop up in your head then most most of the time i would just get swiftness boots but it's play style if if you um just build what works for you i mean after after you play for a while you know what you win with you know what you lose with um you know what's effective and if you win, if you win, you buy so you buy some shit. Even if it looks troll, like I buy zero at first item, it looks troll as fuck. But if you win, all that matters, right? If you win, you win. If you climb, that's all that matters. So, just put some thought behind your your builds. Just have a reason. Have a reason for what you buy because you can only buy so many things. And there's you know, gold is very very important. Um. Just make sure you have a, a reason for why you're buying it. I mean, if the reason is I want to do more damage, I mean, if you think that's good, then go for it. But I don't value that. I value um if you stay alive. If you stay alive, you do more damage. It's like would you have? It's like would you rather have a dead ADC or an ADC that's alive? Um. Usually, you rather just have the 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 ADC that's alive. It's, that's that's the my thought process behind playing Scion too. If I stay alive, I'm I'm gonna be a lot more useful. Even if even if my build is shit because I'm full defense. If I'm alive, of course, and we know Scion's very effective when he's alive because he has armor shred on his E, slow. He has um, percent HP damage on his shield. He has crazy CC. Um, why wouldn't you want to stay alive, right? What's all that CDR going to do for you if you're dead? If you have 40% CDR and you're like, wow, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to help a whole bunch. I have 40% CDR, but if you die really easily because you built, you paid all this money for CDR, what, what use is it? What use is damage if you just die? Because if you're a, if you're a, a scion that's not tanky, you just die. How useful are you? You're probably just useless, right? Um, but that's just my thought process behind it. I'm just giving you a what I'm what what my philosophy of the game is. What my what what I think about how I play the game, and that's different for everybody, right? Just use the less time dead, or just don't die at all. Fuck it, or just run, just run fucking move speed quench like I do, and just run away. <laughs> Everybody, everybody probably looks at it like, why, why do you build these move speed coins? Like, hey man, you can't catch me, then I can't die. Right? If I'm Sonic fast, you can't, you can't kill me. If I'm faster than my, if I'm faster than my vein, you're gonna kill that vein. <laughs> you're not gonna kill me. <laughs> you're gonna, the vein's gonna be slower. You're gonna pick that bitch off, and you're gonna let me, you're gonna let me slide. I'm gonna slide back to base. To be honest, the biggest boot reason why why I always build Swiftness boots and Ionian boots is just too cheap. Um, 200 gold cheaper, that's a pretty big deal. 200 gold is a pretty big deal under 20 minutes. It's nothing to sneeze at. Um, it's a pretty big power spike too in that you have, you have tier 2 boots. You have tier 2 boots at a time that, a lot of the times, jungle still has tier 1 boots. Um, most solo lanes keep tier 1 boots. Bot lanes don't even, I think bot lanes might not even have boots at all. And you're running around with swiftness boots or Ionian boots. Um, if you wait for, if you wait for Ninja Tabai or you wait for Merc Treads, you're slowing that, that, that speed advantage that you would have, right? It would probably slow you down like a, a minute or two. Which is which is a big deal, cause in two minutes, you know, a team fight could happen, and uh, and having a higher tier of boot could be a big difference in terms of like, can you catch someone? Can you can you kite someone? Can you run away? Can you, you know, all all types of shit like that. So also a lot, a lot of jungles don't upgrade their boots super fast because they have to they have to upgrade their machete 
to either like Warrior or Runic Echoes or something, usually, only solo lanes you usually can up, or supports. I see supports by Mobility Boots, but I don't like that, but I, I see with it, the, they're, they're trying to get that speed advantage in before no one else has it. I use move speed on every rune page. Don't know why I just can't not. Did you uh did you start that because of me rock? That shit is like so good. I know when I played uh when I used to play challenger and like and I, I played Sivir. I just fucking I just use move speed quints too. Like fuck it. I play Sivir and I use move speed quints. Like fuck it. My goal is not to fucking carry the game when I play Sivir. I'm not I'm not trying to fucking be double left. Because I'm not going to be bevel of. Damn, so close. Oh, I thought it was closer. The promos. I got into promos. I lost two games. And then I won a game. Now I'm 13 OP away. Not bad. Can't wait to watch that, uh... The Dyrus Rod. But... Dyrus Vod. I did. I get to watch the Vod. Too. He stomped that fucking dude. That Malphite? I'm surprised the Malphite didn't stomp harder. I mean, I, I'm surprised Malphite didn't die more than he did. Because... I think... I think Aurelia had... Aurelia had like... Dyrus had like 60 CS and... Malphite had like 25 CS. It was like really... And Ma and Aurelia was like level 10. And Malphite was like level 8. Um, I mean, I guess it's, prob it's probably pretty hard to kill Malphite. 1v1 because the Malphite attack speed slow. What they were doing to kill Malphite was... They had to bring two people. They had to bring the, Mal the Olaf. Because Dyrus can't 1v1 kill Malphite. When Malphite is sending in her tower. Yeah, but he he can he can beat the fuck out of the Malphite, but you can't hundred to zero him, especially with Malphite Malphite attack speed slow. And that was good because it brought it brought Olaf top, and it kept Olaf away from bottom. <laughs> it kept Olaf away from bottom, and we were dumpstering that bottom. Holy shit! This guy wants GP. I wonder who this guy is. The guy he's dueling with? I wonder why he's dueling with him. Is he just being nice? Does he know the guy? I wonder. Here's, um, look at this guy's, um, this guy here has 62% win rate. The Vlad? That's satisfying. The, I lost, I lost to a Vlad the game before. I played really well against this Vlad. I don't know if this Vlad was bad. I don't know. Um... He might just be bad. <laughs> one and three, one and three, one and three. Last game he went four and three. <laughs> oh well, at least I beat a Vlad because fuck Vlad players, right? Um, this guy was gold one last season, and now he's diamond one. I'm sitting there like, oh really? I don't know. Who, I don't know. Like, and he has a really high win rate. And you look at Dyrus's. Dyrus has a 50% win rate. 50% like on the dot with 700 games. I thought I thought this guy was Dyrus. I thought this guy was Dyrus cuz this is the only guy that looks like a smurf. He's the only guy that looks like a smurf. The guy with the lowest win rate on the enemy the lowest guy with the guy with the lowest win rate in this whole game is Dyrus. That's really weird. Everybody else has fifty two percent, or even more. Like, like Bard had fifty eight percent. I have a uh, seventy three percent. That's pretty funny. Like to to think about it. Dyrus has the lowest win rate, and I think almost the most games. There's two other guys that have like similar games. Pretty funny. It's pretty funny. He's the last guy I thought would be Dyrus. I wonder why that is. Like, why... I'm sure he has a... I'm, I'm pretty sure he has, like, a challenger account. 
Like, why? He actually has, like, a negative KDA here. Like, he has more deaths than he has kills. And he plays carry champs, too, right? He plays, like, Gragas, Echo. You know, Irelia, GP. Like, these are champions that... These are champions that... Echo, you should probably have more kills than deaths. It's not like he's a support player. <laughs> I don't know, man. He plays a lot of uh, OP shit. I look at this page here. I look at this page here. All I see is strong champs. Fiora, Jace, Echo. He has like a million Echo games here. 70% Echo win rate. I wonder, I don't, like I wonder, is he playing bad? Is he, is he, is he not putting any effort in? I don't know. I don't know. These are good champs. These are LCS champs. I think Echo gets played in LCS. He's, he's getting played in Korea. He's, he's trying out the Triforce thing, right? Which is supposed to be an OP build. Why is he not, why is he not going positive? Why is he going like two and four when he's using a Korean Echo build? You know what I mean? It's not like it's a troll build. It's supposed to be really strong. Even Gragas lane is actually pretty good too. I wonder. Looking at his uh, looking at his KDAs look like mine. They look like mine. Yeah, averages like three kills a game. It's like my fucking, my fucking KDA. Yeah, he's playing like strong ass champ. Every champ I see here is like broken. Hecarim, Jace, Renekton, GP, Talia, EF, Darius. Olaf, Darius, Jax, Rumble, Nar, Shen, Rumble, Maokai, Fizz. They're all like broken champs. They're all like really strong champs. I don't see one weak champ. Besides some of like the Bard. Like the Bard and the Soraka. Where I guess he played support. They're all like broken champs. Shen is broken. His ADC via his bot lane feeds. I see um... Like I don't, I don't know if people, I don't know if just people just don't notice this, but people duo, they duo and they'll play like the duo will be like top jungle, top mid, you know what I mean? They duo Q, and then they wonder, they wonder why bot lane feeds, because if you're gonna duo and you're gonna take jungle and and top, you gotta stomp your lane, right? And you almost have to expect your bot to lose. Because the duo is the duo is like mid and mid and top. The enemy duo is probably gonna be that bot lane. Probably. You're you're getting two sh two shittier players because you duo and you raise your MMR, right? You raise your ELO. So it's kinda weird. Um You almost have to expect it. Like you can't you can't expect your bot to win. Like if you're gonna duo and you're gonna take mid lane and top lane, you really expect your top your bot lane to win when when you took the duo queue and you took the two solo lanes? You two random people. Probably weaker than the enemy team. You know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You put all your power into your solo lanes. You spent all your ELO slash MMR on your solo lanes. And you expect your bot lane to break even or, or to win? Like, no, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's why I don't duo queue a lot of the times. Because it makes your other players weaker. You get you get lower ELO people or weaker MMR people. Because it has to make up for the uh, the duo queue. Hell yeah, I can't wait. Wait to watch this. I'm gonna watch a little bit of this. Unless he's boring. Unless he doesn't say anything. Unless he doesn't say anything. I wanna see if he says anything. I wanna hear what his thoughts are about the game. <laughs> 